Mary McLean counsels families who have lost a baby to SIDS at Boston University Medical Center. Parents, more than anyone else, want answers as to what happened to their baby, what caused their baby to die. We found that the babies who died of SIDS had abnormalities in serotonin in regions of the brainstem that control breathing and heart rate and blood pressure during sleep. Dr. Hannah Kinney from Children's Hospital Boston and researchers suggest that if a baby is put face down in the bed, it begins to rebreathe carbon dioxide, which is toxic. A normal baby could respond to that challenge, lift its head up, turn its head, and arouse or wake up. But a baby who has a defect in those brainstem circuits that use serotonin can't do that when challenged and may go on to die. Dr. Kinney and co-authors reviewed autopsy results of 41 SIDS babies and seven who died from known causes between 2004 and 2008. The study, which appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association, showed SIDS babies had lower levels of serotonin and other related chemicals in their brain stems. There was a 26% decrease in the level of serotonin, a 22% decrease in the level of tryptophan hydroxylase, the enzyme that makes serotonin, and over 50% decreases in receptors in different regions of the medulla, of the brainstem. This is where we have found the major problems in SIDS. Although we have looked at all levels of the brainstem, the major problems are here. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.